Hey, we got a trophy. Sweet. What's going on, boys? My name is Sid, and welcome back to Rookie to Icon 1000, the series where I restarted the entire game about four years into this game. I restarted it and have been running an entire new account from the beginning. We just got a challenge, which is crazy because I, I could have sworn we already had a max car. Was it to have max purple parts? Is that what it was? But welcome to a very special episode on Rookie to Icon 1000 because now no more summit. Screw the summit. We're doing the summit absolutely, oh, absolutely outside of the video side of Rookie to Icon 1000. If you catch it on live streams, yes, you'll be able to see the summit. But this episode on Rookie to Icon 1000 is a special one because this one is where, okay, I am gonna buy every single best in every... What am I trying to say? I'm gonna buy every single best in the spec vehicle. Of course, if you didn't know, we're doing everything now. We gotta do PvP, a bit of hobbies, a bit of... Um, a bit of everything. We gotta do PvP, hobbies, stories. There's so much we have to do in this series that we don't really have much time for. Because, yes, Rookie to Icon 1000 has become a speedrun. By speedrun, I mean I'm gonna sod off a lot of the uh, restrictions because the restrictions in the description were like, hey, get every single car in the game. That's not happening. That's that's not happening. <laughs> that was that was that was. I can't believe I thought that would happen. I, what, what was I thinking? <laughs> but what we are gonna do is at least try out everything, because. What else are we supposed to do, man? I'll try start getting at least one bit of Rookie to Icon 1000 every single stream. I stream about three times a week. So hopefully that's enough Rookie to Icon 1000 to be done with the game by end of August. That's what I need. I just need game finished by end of August. Done. And uh, what I'm doing right now is some completion. Because yes, we don't have the best cars in every spec yet. But what we do have is a lot of events to start doing. So not only is this going to be buying the best in every spec, it's also going to be playing a bunch of events. And then next episode should finally be the PvP episode. It's going to be the PvP episode of Rookie 2 Icon 1000. But here we go. We got our brand new Ferrari that we got our uh, in the last stream. We made a lot. Honestly, this episode was supposed to be like, whoa, I got 1.5 million followers, right? But I, I forgot to do that summit. I don't know if I talked about that already. I forgot to do the 1.5 million followers summit. Because I'm an idiot. Um, which sucks. <laughs> it's annoying. Let's head over to the Street Racing HQ. Where are we right now? Are we in... My, uh, no, we're in Detroit. Let's head over to the Street Racing HQ and start buying some cars. Oh, there's also a catch out here where we saved 2 million bucks. You'll also find out... I guess what the best car in every spec is, on top of the fact that you'll also find out how much it is to buy the best in every spec. What I will tell you is we have enough to do so. Asterix. Let's head over to Street. So, I assume you guys, having watched the Sid Wadge best in every spec guide and seen the leaderboards on every street race, I assume you guys know what the best street car is. I would highly doubt if any of you didn't know at this point. In fact, it's a surprising one because, of course, originally it was the Lamborghini Huracan. Then it was, like, a Corvette at one point, And then it was, like, the 993. And it was the Gallardo for a little bit. But, no, the best car in streets, the one we begin with, is if we go over to Brand, scroll all the way down, the best car in street is the Lamborghini Countach. An old school Lamborghini has found itself as the best vehicle in the game, which just baffles me. There's our first one though. Ah, how much was that? 500,000? Oh, we're already off to such a painful start. Ugh. <laughs> oh no. God, this is going to be a cool car to drive in Motorfest. In fact, I should have. I don't believe I did. Um, I uh, got honestly, I may even say on my wheel gameplay channel, I might actually say I will try and do a 20 minute driving video for every single car in the game on my wheel gameplay channel. I might promise that. Um, I don't know how I'm going to manage that though, but I will try and do that. <laughs> Technically speaking, it would take me 
two years. If I did them daily, it would take me two years. So I kind of don't know if I'm actually going to do that. I guess minus boats and planes and everything. Um, let's head over to Drift Wads, though. Not Drift Wads, sorry, Drift. <laughs> Speaking of Drift, I guess. Drift isn't the RX-7. Drift is, in fact, unfortunately, BMW Z4. Because we're obviously going based on the best method. It's part of me. It's the best method to get... Uh, it's the... I did a video on it. Go and watch the video, right? I've done so many videos at that point that I don't get why you... I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. You're not gonna do it? Is that a challenge? I'll do it. I will do it. All right, we're already seven hundred thousand in, by the way. And this one, this one's all right. Only a hundred and thirty thousand for the Corvette Stingray. Pretty sick. You know, it's the best drift car. Not the drift, drift car. It's the best drag car. Hypercar. We will come back to. Let's head over to the off road. HQ, let's go do that. 1.2 thousand videos, exactly. I've made 1.2 thousand videos, you know. Go watch, have you watched all 1.2 thousand videos? I didn't think so, you know. Are you even a real Sidwatch fan if you haven't watched all 1.2 thousand videos? Also, the number is slightly lower than it should be, the final number that we'll have here, because we do already own the best rally raid car, which I can't find for some reason. That is the Ford Raptor Enforcer unit. This thing, I was baffled that this thing is still the best. Uh, nothing's changed. It is still at the absolute best in the spec. Motocross will buy the new best motocross bike. Look, it's not exactly expensive, right? 190,000. Sure, you know. Sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Rallycross. Uh, this one actually is good and perfect timing. The Crew 2, these promos, they seem to have done on purpose. It seems the crew knows what the best in every spec is. Because obviously, as you can see, they've put the Cadillac Enforcer as the buyable, as, as, as my promo car this week. And it's the best one in the spec. It's a brilliant start. Let's head over to the Hovercraft. And we've already spent over one million. Oh, this is painful. Um, I didn't even know there was o there's only four hovercrafts. How long has there only been four hovercrafts in this game? What? This is an entire spec? Since when? I could have sworn that there's more jet sprint boats than this. There's five? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's one with, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. The one, the one, you know, the one. But also, God, I understand why they're not bringing Hovercraft into Motorfest now. Uh, <laughs> like, why bother? There's four. There's four Hovercrafts. Why Why even bother remodeling the physics, doing the events for glorified drift but off-road? Let's head over to the Freestyle HQ. You did a video where you bought everything in the game and you don't remember there's only four? I guess I just didn't look at it. That video, I was just so on autopilot. Like, I think I remember I was watching YouTube videos. Um, I just sort of had my phone on a stand underneath my monitor. And I was watching YouTube videos the whole time. Jet Sprint is an unfortunate one because it's uh, it's this new one. See, even Jet Sprint has more. <laughs> the Proto Rocket. Interesting spec for them to add a new boat into. I'm sure someone took like one day to do that. Oh! <laughs> Our first Jet Sprint boat. Woo! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Crew Wiki says five. Yes, the Freestyle HQ, the Freestyle also gives you a... I forgot about that reward. Um, boy, that's in the wrong location. Did you... <laughs> did you... <laughs> get, did you...
<laughs> That's amazing. God, um, we've already spent two million. <laughs> I'm not buying the best aerobatics. In fact, I think I already have the best aerobatics, which is the Zivco. Yeah, Zivco is the best there. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, the demo derby, we bought the frenzy, uh, monster truck, that's all good, let's head over, because we already have the Abath monster truck, let's head over to the, uh, let's head over to the pro racing HQ, god, this spending spree is flying by, and we've already spent 2 million, so, <laughs> pro racing is expensive, it's expensive, man, oh my god, okay, right, chat, I'm the funniest human being alive, <laughs> And you remember, we still have a... Uh, we still have... Yeah, hypercar! Hy hypercar! God, my brain just malfunctions sometimes. We still have hypercar to go back to. So we got the Frosia 1414 Demon. In touring, we will be going with... We don't have to, actually, because we already own the Ferrari FXXK. Because it's in the Season Pass. And that is the best touring vehicle. So, uh, that's the wrong one. Not that one, the other one. It's either that or the Celine S7, which we also already have. I mean, actually, no, we don't have it. That was a lie, but um, I don't want to get it. The Wacko is the best air race plane. Don't ask me why a biplane is the best air race, is the best plane out of real world. Like, what are, the, what are they called? Race planes? I don't know. Funniest human alive if the only other human was Amy Schumer. <laughs> right. And then finally, the last one that makes any sense is the Proto Mark II. The brand new best Alpha GP car in the spec. Now we move on to something interesting, because here's the thing. How is Hypercar gonna work? Hypercar, technically, as you can see, we've spent about 2.9 million bucks. 2.9 million bucks is how much we've spent so far, right? If we go into Bugatti, where the best hypercar in the spec lies, we go over to this thing. You can see, technically, I should have to spend two million more, putting us up to five million bucks for the best car in every spec. But that isn't the best car in the spec anymore. No, the best car in the spec is the Bugatti Chiron 300 Plus Super Sport. Divine Edition. That's the best car in Hypercar. And with the amount we've saved up, we're gonna be buying the Motor Pass. Greetings and salutations. I haven't even watched the video for it. Buy Premium Motor Pass. And for only crew credits that I don't remember buying, but I might have bought, I don't remember. For only crew credits, we now own the Motor Pass. And we haven't done anything on it. Wow, damn. Uh, but we now have the best hypercar in the spec. Boys, is there anything left to do other than a goddamn customization spree with the 1.1 million we have left? Let's go for it, chat. Let's go for it. Lamborghini Countach. Because there's some cool stuff in the Lamborghini Countach and that's in livery. And if we go on latest, chat, does anyone remember the filters? Because there's some cool liveries for the Countach. But does anyone remember the filters? Ruin it, ruin it, rice it out. Boys, I'm not looking to rice it out. I... What? Well, I... But I... <laughs> to clarify, this isn't the livery I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's um, <laughs> that's quite the find. <laughs> God, okay, you know what? In case we don't find the other livery, in case we don't find the other one I'm looking for, uh, <laughs> cause chat is saying we'll uh we'll put that one on for now. There it is. There is the livery. This was a collaboration. Um, massive respect to the man. Directly from Sir Fixerfo. This was a collaboration, a um, German Crew 2 YouTuber. Do check him out if you like Crew 2 content in the um, German language. This was a collaboration between me and him. And uh, also, Jared Mitchell, thank you for becoming a member. 
Um, I hope that came out. It's up there. They became a member. Uh, this is a collaboration between me and him. He got his livery designers to make a bunch of liveries that uh, would be ready to go on um, all of our cars. If I can find the other ones, there was another like really cool one. If I can find it. The one that was very close to winning was the Lab Edition one. But from this one did end up winning with the Hawaiian theme, the Motorfest theme. And one of the promises from that uh, collaboration was that we both have to use that livery from now on. Uh, from the livery designer Reverend. A very, very sick livery. It's very cool. Unfortunately, not the I love Sid Wadge livery. Boys, look, we can't use the I love Sid Wadge vid chat. I am Sid Wadge. I can't use an I love Sid Wadge livery when I am Sid Wadge. <laughs> the, the, the ego doesn't go that far, chat. All right. And we're going to have to wide body this car. Where's the wide body? Self love. Hey, I suppose. All right. Um, let's go with the wide body because we obviously need the wide body on this. We'll go, we'll leave that. I'm not even gonna race it. Okay, see, I'm not even gonna race it. I'm just putting on the one. Uh, you know what? Do we even go with a spoiler, chat? I'm, I'm gonna go with a spoiler. I'm gonna go with a spoiler. Hey, we put the wide body on, chat. Chat, the wide body's on there because you need the wide body for this thing to be as good as it is. Uh, you have to have the wide body, boys. The wider the car, the better in the crew too. Come on, you guys know this. You guys must know this. Do a handstand, twerk, Sid. What are you guys ever on about, honestly? What is it? You know what? Check out the live streams where I record these videos live and you can improve the quality of, of this going on down here with this live stream chat. What's the state of it, honestly? What is the state? Here we go. Oh, who's chosen to go on a bike? Oh, no. <laughs> right, Harlem... East, I want to say. Because we're buying every car and we're going to be going into PvP, I thought might as well. Faster. Okay, I'll do it. Chill out. Faster. Chill out, hero. Okay, okay. Because of that, we will go in and we'll try and get a bit of completion done, right? We're nowhere near 100% on every event. And we need to do that at some point. And it's a better way to grind money, you know, get full completion, play everything on hard and ace. It's a cool way of, uh, of actually enjoyably finishing the game i guess but also can i just mention hearing that voice line hero sure whatever faster faster seriously go faster that is ten thousand times less annoying than did you know did you know that porsche's manufacturers are in stuttgart germany did did you know that they're in stuttgart germany did you did you know did you know that georgia that porsche's manufacturers are in stuttgart germany you know what? You know what else is in Germany? Autobahns. So we 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 made a special race just for you. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I will never forget that Porsche's manufacturers are in Stuttgart, Germany. God, the crew motor fest. <laughs> I like the voice lines in the crew motor fest until you finish the game. After you finish the game. They are so repetitive. So repetitive. Ah! <laughs> it's painful. Both stupid and funny. It's so stupid and funny. Like, it's torturous. It's so annoying. Did you know Porsche's manufacturers is took ah, ah. It's like, if you, if you, if you bloody mute her as well in the pause menu. If you turn off Kara in the pause menu, she stays on. You have to turn off voices. <sighs> oh. Ah, <sighs> god damn. <laughs> what just even happened? How did I become so bad? Okay, the shortcut should save us. It's only easy difficulty, so it should only be top, um, top what? Like, three? Yeah, so we're chilling. There we go, 15,000. And that's the Lamborghini Countach. The best Lamborghini in the spec, which, unfortunately, us buying all these cars... These cars aren't the best in uh, Motorfest. We're just gonna have to see. Also, a perfect livery because it features Motorfest on the livery, which is pretty sick. But um, yeah, although we do have these cars now, they're not the best in every spec. They're just uh, when it comes to Motorfest. We're gonna have to see what the new best cars are there. But pardon me. Now let's customize the Z4. Oh, I did just realize we also have to kind of be smart about customization. Because liveries don't carry over into Motorfest. 
So we could race this or we could do absolutely nothing so that it doesn't look terrible when we bring it into the crew motor fest. Does this guy want me to have it in black? That's not even like a black. It's like a really, really dark purple. Uh, let's go over here. And this one? Looks pretty all right. Always looks terrible. I mean, it's the Z4. Like, it is one of the worst looking cars known to man. Like, this thing was gonna look garbage regardless. So, we'll go with that. Um, everything else, I'm not gonna put a... I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to this car, honestly. I'll leave it at that. Honestly, I'll leave it at that. But let's quickly put some uh, pro settings on it, because that's what really matters. We've got a one, uh, this one down to there, this one to there-ish. Then just top, top, uh, not top, bottom. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top. There we go. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. I guess, obviously, let's switch. Oh, pass exchange failed. I didn't want that to do whatever it's all about. Oh! I did not know we had these uh, parts. Okay. <laughs> Since when? All right. Uh, let's take this into an event. What do pro settings do? They they alter little things about the games, uh, about the car's handling. They're, they're, they're that, really. They alter little things about the car's handling essentially. That's all they do. And sometimes they can be abused in ways like this, because if you use pro settings on a drift car, you can turn your drift car into something that handles like After this. The bridge, there's a 360 turn. And when a drift car handles like drift. this, it causes it to be outrageously overpowered when it comes to drift events. And that's what we're gonna do here. Is it really significant? Yeah, it can be. Um, 0, 0, 10, 10 on a streetcar can mean the difference between a car being usable and a car being unusable. Which, if you didn't know, a little tip. If you just don't want to look up the right pro settings, you can go and go into any car with four wheels and put the bottom four to 0, 0, 10, 10. So, top to bottom on the bottom four, 0, 0, 10, 10. But for drift, it's a case of the settings that I just used to do this with a really specific handling model, right? You need to spam. You need to hold nitro the whole time. Oh, I'm bad at the video game. There we go. I've actually managed to complete a lap. And God, I have not done this method in so long. Like, my hand hurts. Thank God there is no utterly goofy method like this in Motorfest. Because my arm, oh, my palm, ow, ah, like I can't explain it to you, right? You have to like hold nitro and spam square, uh, spam handbrake. It's so annoying and it's so painful at length. Oh, my thumb. I just want to be over with. I just want it to be over with. There we, oh, there we go. Oh, sweet. Two, 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 six, five, oh. I'll take that, but yeah, obviously we're not using skilled parts, so we're getting absolutely no extra points for it, really. And I didn't even know we had the set that we have for um, uh, this. And also, God, I cannot wait for this to be in Motorfest, where we have so much better first person. Now, on to... What are we on to next? Drag, I believe. Yes, we are on to drag. So in drag, we only really had two cars to begin with. We had the Corvette Stingray and the Skyline, which the Skyline is fine. It's not... It's... It's not crazy, but the Skyline's whatever. Uh, liveries, I don't think I'm going to go with any of the liveries, honestly. I would argue that the Drag Corvette Stingray looks, t looks 10 times better just simply with, like, here we go, and yellow. Yeah, I'd say that looks all right. That's pretty okay. And honestly, I don't even think I'm going to change, like, the uh, visual parts. We don't need to wide body it. We don't need to do anything else to it. I would argue this thing looks 10 times cleaner. Bone stock. It's pretty cool, bone stock. Yeah, shot it. Uh, drag race time, though. L take, L take. What, you think this thing looks better not stock? What are you talking about? The Corvette Stingray looks 10 times better stock. Look at the back of it. It looks so nice. It's whatever. I prefer it not stock. That's what I meant to say. Uh, but also... Uh, uh, the, 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 the goddamn drag events in this game are really, really boring and really, really bad. Um, that's a, that's a top tier take. That is a top take. Uh, drag events bad. 
That's a W, Sid Tech. A Sid Wadge, if you will. A Sid W. Go. Oh, missed that one. There you go. I mean, the gearing perfect points aren't even, like... They're not even entirely accurate, as far as I'm aware. Uh, let's have... God, this is a long one. There you go. We picked a terrible drag event to do, considering that they're some of the most boring events in the, in the game. Ah, we got a bad burn. Okay. Um, I don't know if that even changes anything. We still got a really clean launch. I would argue we got a cleaner launch than we did on, um... Than we did getting a fully clean burn. Like, what? Huh? I enjoy drag race? That sure is an opinion. I mean, I don't know. You can enjoy it. I just think that, like, why is it? One, is definitely the most boring. Like, drag is, like, drag's, a, drag's not even an event. You could switch off everything but the UI, and you would still have the event. Has anyone realized that, right? You could literally only see, only see the, the text and the speedometer and the UI and not see the gameplay, and you could still do entire drag event. Like, it's a quick time event. It's not even event time. It's a quick time event. And on top of that, why do you have to do three, you know? Let me do one, and then let me do, like, forfeit last two. Give me only a third of the money, but let me forfeit the last two. Because, God, that's bad. Bad event type. I will say that. Bad. But there we go. Now we have the best car in drag, which... We didn't even really need if we were going into PvP, but I guess we have now, so sure. Crew 2 looks like Roblox compared to Motorfest, honestly. Like, seeing these cars is just so... Ugh, right, hypercar. Oh, the Divine Edition. Whoa, chat. Whoa. We're really about to do some epic customization here. Whoa, it's the icon color, because Rookie 2 Icon 1000. Done. Car customized. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Rally Raid is the F-150. I suppose we can have a bit of fun here because liveries are really what matter, right? We got top 100 and we could just go with one of these fun liveries, you know? Uh, any kind of police car. We got a K-9 unit. The K-9 unit looks pretty cool. We got... <sighs> whatever, whatever. Um, we have whatever Umbrella Corp is. I don't know what that is. Fire and Rescue. We got... Some more generic police. We got a blacked out police. We have British police. Hum. Now, British police does look pretty epic. I will say, pretty epic. Um, then, I don't know. Why is there a South Park one? And why does it have 5,000, almost 6,000 downloads? What? Dubai? Uh, what is that? Germany or Italy or one of those two? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. <laughs> Hey, Charlie Adamson. Great stream. Love your vids. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for the, uh, thank you so much for the, the two pounds, man. I appreciate it. And we are going to go with chat. We're going to go with the canine. Why not, boys? Why not? Or maybe this one. Honestly, I don't know any. Screw it. This one. There we go. Uh, and I mean, oh, wait, visual. Oh, it's rims. Never mind. Visual pass. Look, we have vanities. We, we have vanities, but like. They're all pretty bad, is the issue. Like, almost all the vanities are like dense smoke. I'd say dense smoke is the only good smoke we have. The only good nitro we really have is explosive backfire. Don't really have any good smokes. Uh, sorry, underglows. We're struggling out here, man. We're struggling. But, uh, into Rally Raid. Oh, well, actually, what I meant was a hypercar because I just kind of forgot. Yeah? Yes, sir. That's why I don't leave the city. Sure, I don't know what you were actually on about the trail. I'm not gonna lie to you, fella. I wasn't entirely listening. But am I listening now? Who knows, you know. But we do now have the Divine Edition, which I definitely should have processing first. Okay, don't turn into me. But we now have Bronx. We have more hypercars. God, how many hypercars do we have now? The Venino. The Chiron Divine Edition, the Corvette, and the Green Flash. We are absolutely balling now, boys. Okay, this thing definitely needs parts and pro settings. That is terrible. That was that was atrocious. But this is a nice um, this is a nice color to go for, though. I'm putting parts and pro settings on now. That's shocking. 
There we go. We have Nitro Chem. I didn't know we have Nitro Chem. And let's go. The tips that I was talking about. Zero. Zero. Ten. Ten. Right. Now, back into the event. As you can see, 30%. 11%. We're gonna play our first... Okay, no, we've played one demo derby. But we're gonna play our first, like, freestyle event here. God, we have really not done enough of this game. Wow. <laughs> no, it makes sense for it to be street race or touring, but instead it's classified as hyper. The Corvette will still be the most confusing hypercar they've ever added. Like, honestly, hypercars are just, like, bigger in the Crew 2. They, 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 I, I can barely even figure out why some cars are hyper and why some cars are street you know what's one car i thought would have been hyper car the celine s1 is that what it is it's the s1 right that thing the thing that we got during the forceberg update i 100 percent thought that would have been a hyper car it feels like a hyper car but it wasn't and the corvette to be hyper car was just so odd i mean the long range edition that thing was pretty cool. Um, it had a cool wide body. It had cool... It just had a cool wide body, really. It came with, like, a stock gold um, window tint, which was really cool. But other than that, like, the Corvette being in Hypercar was such an absolute miss by all regard. Okay, well, let's be careful. Okay. Let's uh, stop. Do I do any sports? I don't. I am such a non-sports man. I've always tried. I just cannot get invested in any sports. I tried to watch basketball. Couldn't get into it. Tried to watch a bit of, uh, like, F1. Couldn't get into it. The only football match I've ever watched is... Uh, the, 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 the Sidemen charity match, the most recent one. That's the only full football match I've watched. The only boxing I've really watched is a YouTuber box. That's a lie. That's a lie. I've watched some boxing, and I was interested in it, but it just never continues, you know? It never it never continues. I don't stay watching it or playing it or whatever, you know, playing. I mean, I don't, I don't really play any sports either. I don't watch any sports either, no. I try. I'm just not a sports guy, clearly. I just, I, it's, it's whatever, you know? It's, uh, oh, it's whatever. Skill issue? I'm just not interested in any sports. I don't know. I can't put that investment in it. I just like, it's like, sure, a team won. Woo, I don't have, I, I'm, I'm so disinterested in everything. I have such a vague interest in everything, you know? The intricacies of it might intrigue me, but I'll never be intrigued in it. I'm not intrigued into, I don't even really like cars. I don't really like anything. I don't really like Marvel, but I'll look into some stuff on Marvel. I, I don't really like DC, but I'll do that. Oh, I don't really like cars, but I still delve into that. Like, there's so many. God of War sometimes intrigues me. Star Wars sometimes intrigues me. Uh, the, 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 the logistics of stuff intrigues me, but I'm so far away from being very invested in anything. I have, I have zero direct investment in a lot of different things. I kind of just am not bothered, you know. I'm kind of not this bothered. Place, beautiful. Why? empty that's tuck's country now yes I'm not. oh but that's good because it allowed me to focus and set a decent time nothing spectacular but it'll let me see what progress you make by trying to beat it all right beat it beat it beat it beat it i mean i've already played this event so i'm gonna beat you wade but also tuck is cooler than you wade you suck wade you're one of the worst worst ai's in this game all right oh jesus hey moose out the way all right um, let's... <laughs> uh, you suck. You suck, Wade. You suck. Oh, God. I suck. I suck, Wade. Wade, I suck. Tuck is better? Absolutely. Tuck is, like, the most top tier... T Tuck is, like, top one human being, right? Tuck vibes. His whole thing is, hey, look, I get we're racing here. But screw it. Let's just have a good time. Let's just drive around. Let's just... Let's just chill, you know? Tuck is a W. Tuck is an absolute W, and I stand by that. Wade is selfish? Damn right he is. Damn right. I would dare say Wade is an L. I would say that, chat. I would say that. Wade is an L. Tuck is one of the biggest Ws in the crew franchise, honestly. Nobody likes Wade? Exactly, right? Hero gets so much flack. Where's the Wade flack? 
Where's the where's the where's the Wade hatred? Where's the Waitred? Huh? Where's the Waitred? Wade sucks. Do know an interesting cut through this bit. You make it just to here and then There you go. Okay. Damn it. Commented L joke. It's barely a joke at that point. It's just wordplay. The only joke I told today was the boy one, and that was top tier. Uh, that one was like that was that was a gold plated joke. That was the best joke ever told, honestly. Best way to get four million bucks from the motor pass? I don't know, high speed takedown, that's how I got it. You know, I got four mil by just doing high speed takedown. But god, four million is a lot for the motor pass. Now that I have the rookie to icon one thousand account, I kinda realize how long it is to grind money. God. I really take for granted that I just sort of play everything else and slowly get a lot of money because money grinding in this game is excruciating. Damn. Now, the next bet. Sid, would you say it's easier to get money in the Crew Motorfest? Uh, it depends because cars have changed price in Motorfest. So, I would argue we kind of don't know yet because... I think everything is more expensive. As far as I remember, everything across the board is more expensive. So we kind of won't know until Motorfest comes out and we've had the game long term. Long term, we've sat with the game and bought every vehicle and, and all of that. That's when we'll kind of figure out, oh, okay, so it's easier in Motorfest or whatever. Because there's a big thing lying on that because... With the Crew Motorfest, all of your cars transfer, and then if you buy new cars in the Crew 2, they instantly transfer to Motorfest. So, not only will your cars transfer, but if the Crew Motorfest is harder to make money to buy cars than the Crew 2 is, then the best money method for buying cars in the Crew Motorfest will be playing the Crew 2. The best way to make money in Motorfest will be to buy the Crew 2 and play and earn money in the Crew 2, buy the car there, and then have it instantly transfer over. Which is such a cool way of doing it. It means that the games are fully connected. So like what? If Motorfest gets a Motorfest 2, are we gonna see cars import from there? Is it gonna be if you buy a car in the Crew 2, it instant imports the Motorfest, or are they gonna do it so it's a stepwise thing though? So maybe Motorfest carries over to Motorfest 2, you know? It's a really interesting way they've done it. It's a really cool way, and honestly, <laughs> I didn't expect them to do it. I think people would always say, are we gonna lose our progress if they make a Crew 3? And I was like, yeah, obviously, it's a new game. Why wouldn't you? But no, we keep our progress. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Um, and our next spec is what? Uh, by the way, we're already back up to 1.2 million. We've made our customization money. Next spec is Rallycross with the Enforcer unit. British-based oil company American Petrol has announced that... British-based oil company American, American Petrol. British, we British, British. Here we go. A very fun event here. Place? I forgot to customize this thing, but it's another one where we'd only be doing the livery anyway. So... Who cares, really? Um, maybe I'll black it out, though. And also, Rally Cross is so hilarious. Because, oh god, what is that wheel rotation as well, by the way? That's like TDU Solar Crown Preview wheel rotation. Turning fully left while barely turning, like, two centimeters. Uh, shocking. But yes, it is rather hilarious that the best car in Rally Cross, the spec, based on rallying in real life with Escort, uh, the Ford Escort, the Lancia, all of those cars that you regularly see in Rally. The spec based on that features an Escalade. And the Escalade is the best Rally Cross car. The crew is a parody. It truly, it truly is a parody. We, we got to a point in the crew's lifespan where they just died shitposting in Rally Cross with a ice cream really truck take and an Escalade and the Camaro. Like, they just sort of gave up with Rallycross at one point and just started shitposting. It's hilarious how odd the spec is now, but 
<laughs> Who cares, you know? I guess we got cool cars like the Escalade police car in Rally Cross. What even? You think you'll ever be as good as me? Uh huh. Think again. Oh. I thought again. I still believe I'm gonna be as good as you. Uh, in fact, I'm beating you by a very long amount of time. Also, this is the race where, like, Wade, speaking of Wade, speaking of the Waitrid, right? The, the, the hatred for Wade. Uh, this is the event where he's like, why are you in the race? You're not in this race. I'm in this race. You better not do this race. I want to do the race. And screw you, Wade. We did the race and we beat you. Yeah, suck it, Wade. Suck it. Right. <laughs> uh, now, what's our next one to go on to? I believe it is... Uh, uh, oh, hello. Oh. Fakes. There's no TV cameras where we do our best. Exactly. Mother Nature. Yeah, man. What we're doing, and that's enough. I don't need to be a rock star to feel good about what I'm doing. You want stars? Come with me on a night drive in the desert. Damn right, way. Oh, uh, talk. Night sky you've ever seen. Oh, damn right, talk. What I'm talking about. That was my race to win. Oh, boo! Boo! Give me talk back, boo! I quite liked... Uh, there's one livery that I quite like on this thing. It's like the... The SWAT's fine. This one's pretty good. Um, I think the one I'm going to go with is probably... Either this one or this one. I mean, this one, sure, because Seacrest County, right? Seacrest County is Need to see Hot Pursuit, and I like that game. So, there we go. What's next? Monster truck. Do we have to? Do we... Do we have to? Ugh. Oh, it's nice to see that we have the high school combi. That's the um, best top speed um, monster truck in the spec, which is pretty cool. I know there's some cool liveries for this car, at least. We've got... Okay, I was wrong. Uh, um, we have a Hello Kitty one. Pretty cool, I guess. We've got an Aldi one. A Red Bull stickered one. See, an issue with the ones that have been in the Crew 2 for a while is this is before we could change the material of liveries. Liveries were always matte before. Now, you can actually change the color. But, the issue with that is, is that, um... Oh, that's pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Um... <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we can't do anything about it now because, obviously... You know, all of these. Let me let me check latest. Let me check latest. Bom, bom, ba -dum, bom, 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 bom. What are we going for, chat? What are we going for? Aldi rap? Why do you guys want me to use the Aldi rap? Aldi, Aldi, Aldi. Okay. Okay. Chat is begging for the Aldi rap. <laughs> it's not good, chat. That is a terrible. Who is chat there? Who? Who sat there and designed the Aldi rap, right? Who did it? Who did it? Show me them, chat. The damn Aldi rap. Whatever, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Nos. I guess we go the blue Nos. Um, there we go. Monster truck time. Here we go. One of the very, you know what? A, a very overlooked spec. A very, very overlooked spec. Now that we've had Motorfest and I was able to drive around some monster trucks in Motorfest and I... I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed driving around Monster Trucks in Motorfest. With how good looking of a game that is, with how cinematic of a game it is, it was really cool to see something as cool as Monster Trucks in the, uh, in the Motorfest game. It was, it was cool, you know, and it makes me appreciate the fact that Monster Trucks exist in this game. After they were patched from being the best way to earn followers, I kind of forgot about monster trucks. They definitely, they dipped into the uh, the sideline as far as my care for them went. But now that I could go on wheel and play like really good wheel physics monster truck, I really, really enjoy them, man. I, ap I appreciate them more thanks to Motorfest. So the Motorfest has done a few cool things, honestly, man. It's done a few cool things. Let's, um, here we go. Let's stay handling correctly. Uh, there's a cut here. And God, they are so much fun in Motorfest. Just you wait. I've got a video cooking. It might already be out by the time you're watching this. But I've got a video ready that is uh, just me playing with all of the dumb cars in Motorfest. The, the ice cream truck. The monster trucks. The everything, right? There's so many goofy cars. Like uh, the Drift Limousine. I played with all of the dumb cars. And monster trucks were one of those. 
And there's so much more fun in Motorfest. I can't wait till you guys get to see that video. It was recorded in the uh, beta. Will I make a video when the Glow Edition Focus comes back? Doesn't that come back during Episode 2? At which point, isn't it going to come back during Motorfest? Meaning, yeah, probably. I'll probably make videos on Motorpass cars as they come into Motorfest, yeah. Because, if you didn't know, Motorpa Motorpass, as well as Motorfest, as Motorpass cars, as well as Summit cars, are going to remain exclusive to the crew, too. So, I am going to make videos on them if they come back, right? I, I kind of am not bothered anymore for cars coming into the crew, too. Maybe when those two F1 cars come back, the tractor and the KTM, because those two come back during episode one. But episode two of this update is after Motorfest releases. Let's be honest, I'm better off not really... Uh, why make a video on that car coming back in the Crew 2 when it's also going to come back in the Crew Motorfest? So... I might as well make that video in Motorfest rather than in the Crew 2. But yeah, I will do that. Of the US Speedo cars coming back, uh, Contractor cars, then American Legends, Forceberg, Into the Storm, and the US Speedo 2, and then eventually, finally, like two years from now, we will also get... Actually, no, probably sooner, because they're combining them now, right? They're bringing back two motor passes worth of cars per ep per update. So we aren't only getting the contractor return. This episode, this update was only supposed to be USB tour. We're getting USB tour and the contractor. That's pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, let's go into what's next. Um, demo derby. Sure. This is definitely one of the cooler demo derby cars. It sucks that we didn't get the summit one because that's now the best in the crew motor fest for the most fun mode in the entire game, the Demo Royale. Let's change the roll cage. I guess I'll just make it black, right? Yeah, there you go. Clean, clean, clean. Uh, NOS. Sod it, no NOS. Smoke. We'll go dead smoke, sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We'll go explosive backfire, sure. Into a Demo Derby race. Petrol Nitrous is so good. It is, and it's come back now, hasn't it? I think Petrol returned. It was in, like, USB Tour Episode 2. And yeah, Petrol Nos is one of the best Nosses in the game. Absolutely. I will, I will give you that as a statement. Um, but here we go. The Hudson Hornet. <laughs> Absolute beauty. Ooh! You know what? We lay back. We chill in Rookie Twark on 1000 videos. And someone in chat has asked, uh, what, Jared Mitchell, uh, what ha was your favorite video to make on your channel? Make Not a lot zero. of people know about it. And if a lot of people do, not enough people know about it. But the time I interviewed the voice actor for Hero, not enough people know that that's a video I did. Or that's a video that exists. I interviewed that voice actor, and that was such a cool thing at the time, right? Before I did this level of cool stuff with Ubisoft, like a Motorfest early access, right? I did uh, interview Hero as like an official thing. Very sick. And it was a very cool experience. And I'd say that was definitely up there as one of the best things I've ever done. Now we have a part. We have a power up, but um, we can't really use it. There's no point in using it, honestly. Damn. Other than that, like, I really enjoyed the most recent, um, what, what was it? 10 dollar versus one million dollar hypercar that challenge video was really fun to film a lot of videos with vintage will be enjoyable but that one specifically was actually pretty enjoyable to film oh i'm not even sure what else have i done that was actually really good speaking of like that vintage video there was also hot vs cold hypercar there's a lot of unique ideas that i've done on the channel that um sort of you know i never that didn't really do well enough for me to continue. And it sucks those ideas uh, don't continue over, you know. Okay, this thing cannot handle with parts not on it. But we are lapping a lot of everyone already in the race. But I will ask, right? That's what I think is one of my most favorite videos, uh, favorite to videos to make. I mean, I really enjoyed the system of making a motor pass documentary when I did that. Like an hour long documentary on the motor pass 
But what I will ask is, what is your guys' favorite video of mine to watch? Not counting money guide, all right? Not counting any guide. What is your favorite, like, non-guide video of mine to watch? That I'll ask. Why not? What's, like, the video? Maybe you don't go back to it, but what's the video that you watched on my channel that you really enjoyed watching? Uh, road trip? None. Stradman cars. Oh, yeah. One of my, uh, more viral videos. It's not one of my most viewed, but that video did the most growth in a short amount of time that any video has ever done. That one did 40k in the span of 20, uh, 48 hours, which was crazy. YouTuber cars? Recreating cars is a series I need to do more of. Especially now Motorfest is this close. I'm gonna redo Fast and Furious. I'm gonna redo basically every recreating that I've already done. And I'm gonna be doing so many more recreating cars now that we have Motorfest. Because, whew, the quality of Motorfest is gonna help that shine so much better. Top Gear Challenge? Oh, yeah. $10 versus $1 million. I'm glad you like that one, man. I'm glad you like that one. TCM JDM playlist. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. <laughs> Recreate Stradman's Revuelto. Does he have a Revuelto? How rich is this man? What in the tax fraud is... Uh, Stradman has a Revuelto? Oh, here's how much I paid for my Lamborghini Revuelto. I assume he shows the exact specs in that. Sweet. Electric Playlist was your favorite? Uh, again, a rather interesting one. Very recent, too. You know, I know we've gained a lot of subscribers recently, so... The Veyron Wrap is also removed now. Like I said, you know, maybe Stradman's one we don't recreate. We... Do a new one for Stradman. And hey, if we did recreating Stradman's cars day one, oh sorry, month one, and he's got the Revuelto in that in that video, we sh show off the Revuelto too. That's gonna be a pretty bad video because the, 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 the crew motorfest is gonna be the first game to have the Revuelto playable. I believe Forza Motorsport announced that they have it one day before Motorfest, but actually playable, the Revuelto is first going to be playable in there, in Motorfest. So, you know, we could get recreating Stradman cars done day one with his brand new Revuelto. We could do the Sidemen, we could do Batman, we could do, um, what else is there? We could do Back to the Future, we could do so much, so much, man. There's so much we can do. God, I'm really looking forward to the recreating series when it comes to the the motor fest i guess yeah whistling diesel manny koshman do ar12 dde shmi jww etc i could do so much with that series man as far as i remember that series always does pretty good like i think it's always done 10,000 views close to okay transformers didn't do amazing but like was it going to I don't think so, <laughs> you know, but who cares? Fast and Furious, obviously. Yeah, there's a lot, man. There's a lot. It's the kind of thing that you look at when people are like, oh my God, Sid, I don't know how you've managed to upload daily for so long. Because, because of, because there's that much to do. <laughs> That's why. Sid, watch streaming for more than three hours on the crew too? It's because this video has overran. I need to finish recording this video <laughs> is why. Honestly, as far as the FXXK goes, I kind of prefer the Celine S7. Honestly, I, I haven't processing this thing, but the Celine S7 just feels so much more rapid than this thing. I know this thing is also the best, but I definitely really prefer the Celine, if I'm honest. This thing's, um... Make a recreating Sidwatch cars vid and just do an intro then an outro. I'll do you one better. I do a recreating Sidwatch's vid, a cars vid and I show a bicycle in the open world. Like I show one parked at a uh, location in the open world and then do the outro. <laughs> That's how you really do it. <laughs> Indeed, what an amazing start. Fun that we've got all these events in this game, man. Uh, honestly, I'm hoping that the added playlists in Motorfest live up to the added events in the Crew 2. Because obviously, some added events like the Into the Storm events, like the USB Tour um, cities. I hope that uh, the themes in 
the crew motorfest live up to the themes in this game you know let's uh swap these parts over here we go why do we have do we have alpha gp maxed out oh well, we have it now because okay yeah Wow, this game is really hard, chat. Wow, we really have to grind a lot, chat. Oh, no. We had to grind so much. I mean, I, I assume we did grind, honestly, but... Um, right, customize. Let's put a thing on this. Okay, where is... Where is the one with the Bugatti? There's a Bugatti livery, and I want it. What was the filters? Oh, that... that whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I was looking for the Bugatti livery, but uh, that's a... Uh, a really cool livery for being buried in latest bit i mean it's gonna be nice when we have the crew motor fest so all these really cool livery creators are gonna not are gonna get another time to shine really right there we go though that is i don't want that on why is that there you go <laughs> I'm just taking it to a race a lot of any items are useless i want more realistic ones honestly hopefully because of how the crew motor fest looks and how it feels Hopefully, they focus a bit more on, like you said, realistic vanities. Yeah, I'd like that. Let's show them you can handle that much car. Of course. And this is one of our first base Alpha GP events that we're doing in this series. So let's do it well, hopefully. I need to do the summit. Oh, is there an easy event in the summit? What specs do we even have left to try out? Oh, Maybe we sort off the boats and the planes, chat. Are we done after this if we sort off the boats and the planes? I think we are. Let's go touch the summit, and then that'll be it for the video. But, like I said, I'm not going to make you guys sit through any more summits, because we've done a few too many summits in Rookie Duarca 1000. So, that's going to be about it for that episode of Rookie Duarca 1000. I'm going to finish this race, though. Let's get to the end. Did we do hovercraft? We didn't, right? Whatever, whatever, honestly, whatever. <laughs> we'll do them at some point, but the next episode will be... Well, it'll be PvP, and that should be fun. I'm going to try and again, like I said, film one of these every stream, hopefully. Oh, ow. Right, to the end. There we go. See you boys in the next one in a bit.